boys and girls and welcome to Arsenal TV. This is your match free post match review of the Arsenal versus Liverpool game. Well, Arsenal lost 4-0 against Liverpool at Anfield. Um, I know I predicted a 3-1 win, um, but obviously that clearly didn't happen. Um, I've got nothing positive to say about Arsenal today. Um, I, I, I just can't believe the way we played today. We played absolutely. It, it was embarrassing. It was an embarrassing. It was an embarrassing performance, um, as per usual. Um, we haven't really beaten Liverpool lately. Um, last time we played against Liverpool, we lost um, at the Emirates, and then we lost four three at the Emirates, and then we played them again, and we drew. Um, and now Arsenal goes to. Anfield again this season and it's the same old shit every fucking season Arsenal hasn't really made any Arsenal hasn't rate made any Transfers lately apart from Lacazette and you know, we know that Alex Oxley Chamberlain has rejected an offer for 180 K um, And it looks and it looks like and it looks like he's gonna go um, and I don't blame him. If he wants to go, then be your, by all means go. If so, and I and I can see Alexis Sanchez going at the end of this week as well in the transfer. I can see him going. If he goes, let him go because at the end of the day, Arsenal. If they're not fit enough to wear the shirt, then get out of our club. It's it's literally as simple as that. Um. So yeah, I I've got nothing positive to say about Arsenal today apart from apart from well played to Liverpool. Liverpool played really well today. Um this is probably the best that I've seen our, uh, Liverpool play for a long time. Um and it looks like if if Arsenal is going to be playing like this, we're in Europa League then I can't see Arsenal winning that either. Um as I said on the podcast um the other night that um ever since Stan Kroenke's been in the club, I can see Arsenal going downhill, and it's heading and it's heading that way. It looks, it looks as if Arsenal are now going to end up going downhill from now. I know it's only the start of the season, but I can't see our, if we're going to be playing like this and Arsene Wenger is not getting the players that we need. Then I'm sorry, but I can't see Arsenal winning the title, and I can't, and I I literally can't see us winning Europa League either. The group stage has been brought out for Europa League. Um, I haven't seen the group stage yet. That I know we're in Group H, um, but I haven't seen the teams that we've got. Um, but I literally can't see us winning that either. I really can't. It's really that bad for us at the minute. Arsenal now need to go and review what happened at the game, and then they need to sort. They need to solve it. I don't know how they're going to solve it, but I there's only what seven days left within the transfers. And Arsenal do need to go and get up, go and get the players. If we don't, then then I think then Arsene Wenger needs to go as well. And us fans for the next two years now got to put up with this shit as per usual. Um, so guys, I'm literally I'm I'm not even going to give a man the match because I don't think none of the players deserve it. Um, but it's the same old shit every season, same old. Um, so. I'm literally going to end my video here. Um, I'm sorry it's going to be a bit short, but um, if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the like button, the thumbs up button. And please do make sure that you have the bell icon switched on so you don't miss another video. Until next time, guys. Arsenal let me down again.